a solution containing 0.762 grams of malonic acid requires 12.44 milliliters of a 1.174 molarity sodium hydroxide solution for neutralization. How many ionizable H atoms are present in the malonic acid molecule? So we've got this malonic acid in solution is neutralized with sodium hydroxide. And as we know, with any neutralization reaction in aqueous solution, what's going to result is a salt and water. So you can think about how we've got this malonic acid dissolved. Then we start to add a sodium hydroxide solution. And once we've added 12.44 milliliters of this solution, the net solution is completely neutralized. So what we need to figure out is how many moles of sodium hydroxide were added, and at the same time, for the neutralization to happen, how many moles of malonic acid did those moles of sodium hydroxide react with? So, okay, for the moles of sodium hydroxide, we know that molarity is moles of solute per liter of solvent, so 0.01244 liters of sodium hydroxide solution, and we don't know how many moles, okay, with a 1.174 molarity. So cross multiplying, 0.014605 moles of sodium hydroxide were added. Now, for the neutralization to take place, how many moles of malonic acid did these moles of sodium hydroxide react with? Well, it was 0.762 grams of malonic acid. So to convert this to moles, we need the molar mass of malonic acid. So molar mass of carbon is 12.011. For hydrogens, molar mass of hydrogen, 1.008. And for oxygens, molar mass of oxygen, 15.999. Okay, doing the addition. one oh four point oh six one grams per mole. That's grams of malonic acid for every mole of malonic acid. So doing this multiplication, 0 0.007323 moles of malonic acid were reacted with to neutralize this solution. So if we divide 0 0.014605 by 0 0.007323, this is pretty much two, which means that two Sodium hydroxide units were added for every one malonic acid unit. So that means there was two protons coming off of the malonic acid for this to neutralize. So the answer then is two.